How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be going over the most biggest fails on the internet when it comes to mask designs. To be honest, masks are a great way to protect you from COVID-19, and I strongly advocate for people to wear it. However, there's a couple of masks out there on the internet that I looked at that are downright hilarious, and some of them are downright disrespectful. So. Let's go and have a look, shall we? So the first mask I found is this one. It's from the Bougie Llama. The seller is the Bougie Llama from Etsy and it's this breathable mesh face mask. And yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's a mesh face mask that doesn't even work or cover your face. It's a terrible idea. You're bound to get COVID-19 with if you go outside. And um, it's not even that attractive, honestly. At first I actually looked really hard into it so I, because I was thinking maybe there's like a little lining in the mesh but there is none it's just a mesh mask with big holes so this mask will not work whatsoever at all and then I actually got to reading the comments of the people who actually bought the mask and I found out the reason why this mask even exists they're actually for people who are mask deniers and who don't believe in COVID-19 but they want to have something covering their face so that they can go into stores and not be badgered to um, wear a mask. Perfect, I have been anti-mask from the beginning of this pandemic, but I don't like being hassled when I want to enter a grocery store. I'm not about to compromise my health for some stupid election motivated policy and this mask allows me to breathe. Okay, first of all, you are compromising your health by not wearing a mask. This isn't, a pandemic or anything. No one decided to create COVID-19 and let it loose in the United States. It's an actual virus that's killed over 400,000 people. So you just make yourself look really, really uninformed in this comment. Also, if you really are struggling to breathe in a mask, there are masks out there that's aimed to actually help people with breathing problems. I have not yet worn a mask and intend to keep it that way. But just in case if I ever choose to put one on, this is the one. It's a big F you to the tyrants. Thank you for making this non-mask available. What tyrants are you talking about? Scientists? Doctors? Coronavirus? Are they the tyrants? Cause you should be wearing a mask. Mask number two is the Vinta Active Shield. I've seen this a lot on Facebook and when I first looked at it, I was like, wow, this is like the coolest mask looking thing ever. But upon further inspection, it's actually not a really good idea. So first off, this mask is incredibly expensive at $84. It still hasn't been released yet. It will be released in April. And with the $84, it doesn't e even include the one thing that you actually need it need for it to work as an active mask. This has specifically been marketed towards people who are active and go exercise. But if you just have a mask with just the head strap, you, the bottom part of it is going to be flinging up and down when you're doing push-ups or anything exercise related. Vinta does include a neck strap that you can buy separately, which still hasn't been announced. So you're stuck with a mask slash face shield that probably will not even work. And also it's supposed to create a tight seal on your face. However, most faces are very ergonomically different. So you're going to have to individually make masks for each type of face to have a proper seal. It's not going to have that proper seal if it's not ergonomically aligned with your face. And I get that they're trying to market this as an anti-fog face shield slash mask hybrid. Even though it's anti-fog, if you use it for active exercise, it's not just going to be fog that's going to be accumulating in the mask. You're going to be spitting. There's going to be respiratory droplets that's going to just stain your mask and you're going to have a hard time seeing regardless of whether or not it's anti-fog. The next mask we have on the list is this clear face mask, five set, tall, transparent, sanitary, open mask, tall size. Did I mention it's tall size? First of all, this mask is supposed to be a hybrid between a mask and a face shield. However, it fails to do the job of either of those things. There's virtually no seal when it comes to you wearing this mask. So all the respiratory droplets in the air is gonna go straight in through your mouth and nose when you breathe. And it's not even doing the job of a face shield because it's supposed to protect your eyes from droplets. So 
you're gonna be spending 40 bucks for something that doesn't even work correctly. At least everyone will be able to see your killer smile. This next one, the breathable, reusable, washable, durable face shield mask, Valentine's Day gift, hey, it's around the corner, is the same as the one we looked at previously. If not somewhat, I don't know how they were able to do it, but they decided to make it uglier than the one before. And finally, I have the fully zipper polycarbonate hood shield face protective shield 10 milliliters anti-fog spray included cotton loose hood okay when i first saw this mask ah uh, the immediate thought that i have is oh my god it's a face shield for hijabi woman now i know in the picture it's doesn't have the model wearing a mask at all but if you were to wear a mask with this this would be a really good face shield slash mask combo especially if you're a hijabi i mean when I first saw this, I was like, this is great for a hijabi woman. But a lot of people on the comments tend to think this is a hoodie face shield, which, okay, I, you know, you to each their own. But I really do think it's a hijab. By itself, honestly, it's not going to protect you that well from a mask because of the fact that the cotton is very loose and can easily allow pathogens to go in near the ends of where it drapes over your neck so it's not a good idea because it doesn't make a proper seal with your face however it's a great face shield then again i am wondering how much your vision is going to be affected by the fact that there's like anyways that's all i kind of have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked it i hope you share it with someone who can benefit from this information please actually actually share it with people so they know what not to buy from the internet when it comes to masks and please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.